Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for those who've stayed tuned. Um, my last video was about integrity with my friend Audrey. So if you haven't listened to that, please do check it out. But in the meantime, I've actually got another guest speaker on my channel and I will allow her to introduce herself to you. Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. My name is Sarah Abiyam and I am so grateful to be here with my beautiful sister Esther to talk to you today. And I believe so strongly that someone out there will be blessed by today's video. Amen. Thank you Sarah so much for coming. My pleasure. Thank you. It's not like, like we planned this in advance, but you know when you need to find the right day to come together yeah, and do yeah, it. Yeah. Thank God for the right day. Amen. But um, <laughs> today um, we've decided to talk about church hurt. Mm. And I believe in today's generation, there are a lot of people at the moment who are trying to move away from the whole church environment. Um, it could be because of what they've done, um, you know, the shame that they've brought upon, you know, maybe their family, their mm. friends, their loved mm. ones, um, you know, not feeling good enough mm. or being too worldly. Mm. So we just want to ensure that this video does encourage you, that it doesn't come out, um, you know, in a way that we're trying to attack, mm. but a way to, to, to gently correct and encourage. Mm. But more importantly, just to... Um, <clears throat> ensure that we actually do know what you're going through and we mm. can understand and relate with mm. you so um, in your own words i mean how can you define church hurt um mm. as you know recently on social media there's been a big kind of hoo-ha about church hurt. Mm. um mm. and what i would define it as based on maybe definitions from what i've seen out mm. on social media is mm. um um maybe experiences negative experiences people have been through within the church environment mm. or from so so to speak church people or christians yeah. um as we call ourselves so based on those negative experiences there is a hurt there is a there is a scar there is a the, there are things that people are dealing with negatively yes. based on those interactions so in yes. a nutshell that's what how i define it i like that and, and i think is what well, it's it's the hurt that we as human beings go through mm. that cause us not to want to come into church because mm -hmm. you know in today's society church is meant to be seen as a hospital you mm. know a place where we can come mm. you know to be healed to mm. be comforted you know to be transformed and loved but in today's generation it can become so hard you yeah. know you yeah. know you can walk into a church and you know you don't feel loved mm. or you don't feel accepted mm. or you know you, you feel like an outcast and i think that's what's going on you know, I had a really good chat with my friend the other day and he was saying that, you know, he's he's not really coming to church as much. And wow. I thought, wow, you know, is there anything wrong? Mm. He was like, no, I'm just not feeling like it. And wow. I feel like, Sarah, wow. you know, if I'm honest with you, it's the way they've been brought up. Yeah. Maybe they haven't been used to going to church. Yeah. Or maybe they yeah. have been going to church because of yeah. their parents. Yeah. But they've just, you know, gone into their got to a mind. stage now where you've grown. You yeah. can make your own decisions. Own decisions. Um, it, it, mm. It's one thing. It's easy for us, um, especially when we don't know what someone is going through, mm. to be able to begin to point fingers and make yeah. accusations. Um, but what I, I believe so strongly is that everyone has their own unique experience. Yes. Um, and things happen that cause people to react in certain ways yeah. um, every action causes a reaction yeah, then, um, but what I would say is um, there are there are two as you said in the intro there are two kind of factors that we need to look at yes. with regards to this subject we have to look at the the person that has been hurt and then look at the church setting as a whole yes. um, it, it, it the foundation of whatever we do is really important this is it. because even with a building if your foundation mm. is not right mm. if any kind of turbulence comes around yeah. your building will not stand um and for many of us i think the foundation mm. of our faith yeah. we, we we have to really strengthen and deepen it yeah. in order to not allow situations or yeah. church hurt so to speak to sway us away from god mm. um we were speaking just before we started and i said something that you have to, you and I both um, have to get to a point in God where the actions of a human being do, do not have or does not have enough power to take us away from God. Exactly. Um, church is not the building. Church is me. Church is you. And as long as church is the human being there are going to be errors because human beings are fallible mm. human beings make mistakes human beings are subject to change yeah. i can 
be a blessing to you today yeah. and be a hindrance to you tomorrow. Why? Yeah. Because I'm a human being. Yes. But not because of what I do to you should you then hold that against God yeah. who has preserved your life, who has kept you, who has been good to you. Yes. And, and and one thing that is, is such a, 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 a hard thing that's really working on people is offence. Of course. I'm offended mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at this auntie. I'm offended yeah. at this minister. I'm yeah. offended at the choir. I'm offended at the ushers. The ushers told me to sit here. I didn't want to sit. And and, and these offences are a tool that the enemy uses to really play on the minds of people. Yes. Yes. Someone can do something to me. Mm -hmm. And because of the, the thought that I have and the negative way that I feel, yeah. I'll be shocked that by the time I go home, yeah. that thing becomes magnified in my mm -hmm. mind. And before I realise it, I make a decision that, you know what? I'm not going there anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. Yeah. But all of these things are really just a strategy of the enemy to pull us yes. out of the, the family that is the church. Exactly. That is deep. And, you know, one thing that Sarah said is that when it comes to even, even positioning, for example, mm. you know, you're in the choir and you're the person that's never chosen, mm. that can cause people to, to leave. Definitely. If you don't feel valued, mm. if you don't feel like you are part mm. of the family, mm. you're just coming, you know, you're sitting, you know, on the chairs every Sunday, mm. not participating, or maybe you want to participate, but no one's calling you. Mm -hmm. That can In also itself cause an and, and, and it, you know? it, it's so, it's, it's tricky because every human being whether it not just even in church but in your workplace yes. you want to be valued you want to be appreciated you want to be do you know what i mean celebrated yeah. everyone that is the nature of yeah. human beings exactly but understand this even when human beings don't see your value and your worth yeah. god sees your value yeah. and your worth yeah. and one thing that we, we we do especially as young people we want to be yeah. seen we want yeah. platforms we want to everyone to celebrate us but the, can i promise you the greatest way to, to 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 be valued and to be celebrated is to serve exactly. and to avail yourself yes. do what other people are not doing do yes. things that will cause you to stand out yes. do the things that people run away from exactly. um one thing that i'm 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 always taught in, in my church by my father in the lord is is, is the importance of serving yes. the import the importance of the assignment of god yes. the importance yes. of availing yourself you, you might not even be the best singer mm. but because you're so diligent and faithful in coming to yes. choir practice when the time is you yeah. you'll be shocked that when they need someone faithful to pick for a particular yeah. role you will be picked why because yes. you've been faithful it's but okay. then as as you as we are talking about church yeah. the root of it all is offense of course. the root of it all is pain yes the root of it all is 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 hurt and, and, and yeah all yeah. these negative things that yeah. but they're a seed but because mm. we feed them and our mind will play on us and and and, and cause mm. us to to think these things through yes. they end up becoming growing up becoming hindrances and weeds in our life that choke the will and plan of god for our lives this is it and i feel like what she said is the root i don't know what i was thinking about but i think i was at work and i was talking about the performances of every individual mm. it starts from you yeah you have to know what you're good at and what you're not good at yeah but you also have to know where you have been offended yeah. so you know how to yeah you know um reverse it that's the point to, to, to turn it around that's the point for your good that's the point if you're always being offended by something and you're not identifying the root that is what causes us to assume mm. or potentially you know prejudge mm. and we make decisions based on emotions and 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 it's so and it's not tricky right. yeah it's, it's so tricky in the sense it's, of an assumption can do more harm to you than you will ever, ima ever exactly. imagine um i've had instances where mm. maybe i've come back from work and i'm extremely tired or yeah. and so i won't be my usual self yeah but then maybe someone will see okay she's being a bit off with oh, me yeah. i don't like her attitude and genuinely it's not that you're trying to give them an attitude but exactly. you've just not had a good day yeah but what i think happens is a lot of people will just take an action of a person yeah. and make a decision based on that action not finding out what caused it yeah um if it exactly there's a route mm -hmm. um if i realize if someone walks up to me in the street and 
uh, random um, scenario. If someone walks mm -hmm. up to, to me up to me in the street and then slaps my face, mm -hmm. my first reaction might not be a positive reaction. Mm -hmm. But not. if I find out that maybe their young child has been killed and yeah. something like that, there's a mm -hmm. sense of compassion that I will have because I know what has caused it. Yeah. So many of us need to kind of before we get offended before we take such drastic decisions yeah. find out why things are happening and i think as well sometimes things will happen and we'll be like okay i'm done but we need to go back to the person yeah. and if we feel we can't go back to the person go to someone that you know yeah. can speak to the person and yes. try and resolve the matter yes. but if you stay in your coil if you stay yeah. with the offense nothing yeah. will be solved this is it and it's funny because I believe that we all have been through that situation Definitely. where we do want to, you know, resolve a situation. Mm -hmm. But we look around our circle and we say, who can I really talk to mm. about this? Because if I speak to this person, will this person mm. go behind and say this? So I think as human beings, the, the, the one thing that is the most important is going to God in prayer. Come on. He has to be the first person you go to. He has yeah. to be your first source. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you go to someone and then go to God, God can say A, the person can say B. B. Yeah, and so you won't even conflict. know yeah. conflict. Yeah. You know, you're, you're mishearing God's yeah. voice and yeah. the person's yeah. voice. Yeah. Not to say that the person that you went to is bad, mm -hmm. but sometimes we need to consult the one who knows all. That's right. The one who can take that that feeling of, of, of you know, insecurity mm -hmm and unforgiveness mm. and, 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 and that deadly seed mm. that's in you that is causing mm. you to be the way you are mm. it will take time but you need to really question yourself and ask am I the one that's causing this hurt mm. because sometimes it, sometimes it's, it is easy to blame people come on but let's look at ourselves come on, as well come on, come you know realistically come let's look at ourselves because it's very easy to point the finger and say, mm. well, she did this last year. I'm probably sure she's going to mm -hmm. do this year. Or mm -hmm. he did this last mm -hmm. year. But as Sarah rightly said, if you were to lose someone and the person reacted harshly, don't take that to heart. Because we know that losing someone isn't it's painful, easy. Definitely. Come on. Definitely. You know, give that person time to heal. Yeah. So yeah. that person can come to themselves. And sometimes even healthy distance is very important. Yeah. So at least you know that that person won't be too offended because when someone is hurt, they don't want too much closure. That's true. You understand? They, true. they want that time to breathe. Yeah. So, you know, even in reference to church hurt, some people, they may not be ready to come to church. Mm -hmm. You know, I have people that, you know, I invite them to, you know, events mm -hmm. and this mm -hmm. and that, and genuinely they can't come. Mm -hmm. But God knows the real answer. Maybe they, they don't want to come. Maybe mm -hmm. they're shy. Maybe they're not ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But who are we to point the finger? That's As right. I said it, the, the, the truth starts from us. So That's we need to point. know who, who we are and, yeah. and the kind of um, impact that we are making in someone's mm. life mm. so that mm. they can feel comfortable in That's coming. We need not to lift up our hands on Sunday and do what the world does in the mm. week because mm. fair enough, it's not easy. We are living in the world. world of course, yes, there's so much yes. temptation and there's yeah. an ease to talk and there's yes. an ease to be like others, but we need to stand out. That's the point. You know? And, and one of the most unique things that causes us to stand out is love. That's it. That is, that is the epitome of who God is God mm, is love yes. and sometimes I believe people feel uncomfortable maybe to come to church or come yes. back to church because yes. we have now put ourselves on pedestals mm. and maybe because we're able we're, we're able to obey God in certain aspects of our life we now think that we have arrived no you haven't mm. arrived no. you and I we're not the standard so mm. if we're able to meet the standard it's because the spirit of God has strengthened of us course. to do so the Bible says something it says that he who thinks he's standing mm -hmm. take heed lest he fall is it nice. is so important so even if you see maybe someone is having issues in certain areas yeah. i'm not saying don't advise in love i'm not yes. saying don't counsel but don't be the the judge jury and executioner yeah. over their life because you don't know what God has in store for them. Um, I remember in the Bible, there is a prostitute who God used to help the children of God to be able to come in and spy the land. And we can think to ourselves, but she's a prostitute where they know holy people. You don't know what God wants to do with the person. You have no idea. So your responsibility is to be an example. Your responsibility is to be a, a, a vessel through which the spirit of God can use 
to, to be a blessing to the person. I don't have to, and I don't want to, and I don't need to announce to anybody yeah. that I'm a Christian. You need to no. see that God in Come me. On. You need to feel that God Please. in me. You need to experience that God mm. in me. You need to tell me, do you know what? There's something different about you. And um, I, 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 to the glory of God, I thank God that sometimes I get messages from people on my social media that I've never met before. People are qu- literally across the world, and like, I just feel free to talk to you. Exactly. And I think, okay not met you before you're really kind of but i'm humbled and i'm honored to the point where you know what god let your glory be seen yes and people are hurting people Mm. are going through stuff they don't need condemnation they don't need you to 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 attack them they need you to draw draw them to yourself and allow the spirit of god to Mm. work in them um and and what we were saying at the beginning is looking at it from the person who's being hurt and the church perspective one thing that i love even i've I've been to your ministry a couple of times and even in my own church as well one thing that i love is is that welcoming atmosphere and that's the body of christ that is what it is about exactly jesus um, there was a woman he met at the well. He knew that she had different guys. He knew. But even so, he gave her a word that caused her to be an evangelist and tell people. And that's our duty. We need to show so much God to people, show mu- so much love to people that they go around and be like, Do you know what? I've met this girl called Esther. She's so unique. There's something different. She's invited me and I just feel comfortable. Yeah. Yes, I'm a smoker. Yes, I'm a, a criminal. Yes, I'm a drug dealer. But there is something in her that draws me onto onto the God that she says that she's serving. But it's a process that we go yes, through. It is. It's it's it's, it's yeah. not a, it's it, not an easy not at all. It's not an easy process. But it is a process, and I believe when we pray mm, and our hearts are sincere to God, yeah. God will use us Amen. to draw people onto Himself. Yeah. But I really want to talk to the people that are hurt. Yes. Um, and as you said, the the person yeah. that you spoke to that are have kind of given up on on church you know what god didn't do it to you human beings did and we're all fallible we're all we are all subject to making the most serious of errors please don't allow what a human being did to you yes. to disconnect you from your God. Of course. And I know someone's out there that say, yeah, I can pray in my house. Yes, you can pray in your house. But the Bible says that we should not forsake the assembly yeah. of the saints. Yes. It's yeah. so important. Yes. Because there's been times where I've literally been weak yeah. in my faith. And if not for that that family of, of, of believers... It's easy to give up. Of course. And the devil knows the power yeah. that is in unity. Exactly. And that's why he will isolate you. Mm. That's why he will tell you, you don't need them. Yeah. You may not physically need them, but there is a mm. spiritual thing. Come there on. is a connection. There is an anointing that comes when a corporate body of, of believers come, come together. together. Don't let the, the voice of the enemy work mm. in your mind. The devil is a liar. He is. He's he is the a father of all lies. Of all lies. <laughs> the father of all lies. There's nothing no. that you can do that mm. can stop God from loving you. No one. Nothing. Mm. What? Even if human beings, I, I always say sometimes to friends, there are mm. certain crimes and things that we hear that mm. you're just like, how I, I this is hard. Of course. Like I, I, I read on <laughs> online recently, there was, I think about three men in a, a, a Middle Eastern country who got um, executed for mm. um, abusing a young child and then killing him. Okay. God can forgive that. He can. And that baffles my mind because in true. my heart, I'm just like, okay, God, that would be hard because what exactly. if that little boy was my little brother or my mm. son or something? Mm. But as bad as that is, God can forgive he that. He can, he can. So what is it that you and I have done that exactly. he can't forgive? Of course. You're not too bad. No. You've not gone too far. Mm-mm. As long as there's hope, exactly. there's life, there's breath, Yes. he's calling you back onto himself. So yeah, just to add on that as well. I mean, is there anything that you could obviously yeah? So just of? like the forgiveness of God, it knows mm. no bounds. Exactly. Um, and so for those who are out um, or have left church because mm. they think they've gone too far yeah. or they've got they've gone so bad, mm. it, it's not that bad. No. His love is 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 available, of course. ever ever available. As long as you have life, yeah. you have an opportunity. As long exactly. as you have breath, you have an opportunity yes. and. As I said before, he's calling us yes. onto himself. Yeah. And uh, no matter what has been done to you, 
Mm. Never ever give a human being enough power to mm. disconnect you from your God. Don't, Don't do it. it. And Don't never do it. give them enough power to stop you from doing what God requires of you. Yeah. We're in an era now on social media where mm-hmm. people don't even respect men of God. They don't respect the church. We will not agree with what everyone is doing. Yeah. But that does not stop you from serving your God. Of that does not stop you from doing what you know is right yes. for your God. Yes. So I'm speaking to anyone out there who's yeah. been hurt. Anyone out there who's on the verge of giving up. Anyone out there who has given up. Mm-hmm. Anyone out there who feels that they've gone so wrong that there is no hope for them. Maybe at a point yes. you were a minister minister of God but now you're a weed smoker mm. he's calling you back exactly. he is calling you back sis and it, 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 it breaks my heart to mm. see so many especially our age group yeah. our generation of people yeah. now making a mission to yeah. disrepute Jesus Christ of course. the devil is a liar he is the father of all lies he is a big <laughs> fat one what? but the thing is his strategy is working but i believe yeah. in the power of god of course the spirit of god works yes. the name of jesus it works the blood mm. of jesus it works it and power. it does not ever mm. ever lose its power that's why that's i love right. a scripture i believe it's in isaiah it says come let us reason together yeah. Yeah. god wants to reason with you god wants to dialogue with you he said though your sins may be as red as scarlet he said yes. i will make them white as white as snow, snow. <laughs> white as snow so just oh. come back to him what yeah. they have done to you yes. it's them it's not God they're exactly. human beings God is God exactly and, and you can't compare God to at man at all and it's funny you said that because you know in my second year of university I decided not to go to church for a year wow because I was working um, in retail in London mm. so that was literally my place to go mm. Monday to Friday university mm. Friday evening to Sunday work and I'd come back home I wouldn't want to do anything mm. I wouldn't touch my bible all I would do is just cry mm. because of a friend. Wow. You know, I even done, I even had to do a reset in my second year. That's how deep it was. Mm. And, and I believe that through the passing of that reset, I, I said to the Lord, I said, God, because you've enabled me to pass, mm. I want to give my life back, back into you. you. I really want to, I really want to mm. serve you. Mm. And that's when Salem Kent Church, and um, one of the members of the church approached me and said, Esther, I would really like you to be a member of it. Wow. And since then, honestly, wow. my life was never the same. In 2013, Amen. it was beautiful. Amen. My relationship with him grew stronger Amen. and stronger. Amen. I felt like I knew my purpose again. Mm. I didn't allow what people did to stop me from going to church anymore. Come on. I did before. You know, and that's why we're doing this video because yeah. I'm sure some of us have stopped going to church because of people. Yeah. But just as what Sarah rightly said, yeah. don't allow someone mm-hmm. to to make you make that decision to not serve God, to mm. not come back to mm. the house mm. of God. You know, a place where He deserves to be respected, mm. a place where He deserves to be praised mm. and worshipped and adored. Mm. I'm not saying that you can't do it at your house, but as you rightly said, there's mm. something about when people come in unity, corporate yeah. prayer, yeah. you know, corporate fellowship. Yeah. There's beauty in that. Yeah. Yeah. There really is. And the devil knows the power of unity. unity so he will do everything to bring this unity he will it. do everything to bring discord he yeah. will do everything to keep you away from what he knows will bring you yes. that strength that you need to fulfill the purpose that god has for your life mm. it breaks my heart when i mm. see people who were so at a point on fire for god and yes. and now they 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 are not and mm. i'm not here judging them of but the, the devil is really working mm. but we that's why we're doing this video to reach out to them and tell them do you know what you're still valued very valued despite what has gone on in your life despite what has been done to you despite what you have done you are valuable you are important and you are needed so please come back to god don't Mm. allow human beings to mess you up when you come back it's not going to be perfect let me tell you that for free it's not it, let me tell you that for free it won't it's not at all and but, i feel like being a christian isn't always easy as well at of all. course there's going to be a lot of attention on mm. you and there is going to be something about you that makes you stand out just mm. like what sarah was saying before you mm-hmm. know about being the light you don't have to speak and say you're a christian mm-hmm. it just shows mm-hmm. and as sarah was rightly saying when people are able to approach her to speak mm-hmm. to her about certain things mm-hmm. it's not her it's christ in her mm. it's that light that's shining mm-hmm. in her mm-hmm. so of course being a christian isn't easy but at all. what it entails is so worth it it's worth the wisdom it. the strength mm. the love the protection mm. psalm 91 there are so many things come that on. we cannot even see come in on. the physical realm that come the lord on. is protecting us from Every we don't day, see sisters 
please. If God was to open please. our eyes to what happens, of and I, uh, spiritually, like I don't, I don't know how know. many of us could actually <laughs> stand. But just the fact that we can go to bed and wake up in the morning is enough to want to do everything we can mm. for him and for his mission mm. and for his kingdom. And you know what? Jesus said something. He says that mm. when you did it for your brother, you did, you did it, it for me. me. Yeah. So you think, okay, I'm, I'm doing all this. I'm going to church. Mm. But it, it, just showing love to your brother, you're doing it for God. This is it. Forgiving your brother, mm. you're doing it for God. This is it. So don't stop. Don't give up. Don't, yes. don't, don't, don't give up on yourself. No. Don't give up on God yourself. Because God has not given up on you. He's able. Amen. Hmm. More than Guys, able. To do exceedingly and abundantly on. above all we ever yes. think or ask or yes. imagine according to the power, power that, that works, works in, in us. us. Yes. Oh. And the it's thing is, Esther didn't go to church for a year. And she's sharing that with you so you don't have to go through that experience. There are experiences that we have gone through yeah. that we want to share with you so you don't have to. Exactly. So please hold on to God. Hold on to him. Mm. He loves you. Mm. And the plan he has for you is more than your mind can even Come bear. on, come please. on. Please. So guys, be blessed, be encouraged, Amen. be inspired. Amen. Know that God loves you Amen. and he has something special for you. That's right. Just three words, don't give up. That's right. Because he will not give up on you. Amen. Thank you so much, guys. Thank Sarah, you, thank you. Thank once you, again. my darling. God bless I'm gonna you. put all God bless you too, sis. <laughs> I'm gonna put all Sarah's social media um, on the description bar below as well. So you can follow her. Please listen to her video. She's very inspiring, very encouraging. And I honestly hope that you all were blessed. God bless hope you. Hope you took something from this. Thank but you. definitely we'll see you in our next video. If there's anything you want us to talk about, please do let us know. Subscribe as well. Um, it's highly appreciated. <laughs> and we'll definitely see you in our next video. Definitely. Take care and have a very lovely day, afternoon, evening, <laughs> wherever you are in the world. That's right. Take care. Bye. Bye.